hey you guys welcome back to another video so today is father's day you guys and the room looks like crap because we got ready on friday and went out so i'm gonna start getting ready for father's day because we're taking my dad out to dinner i'm starting off my morning kind of bad because i really don't ever talk about my private life with anything that has to do with my baby dads but i guess gordo's dad he lives seven hours away and he just showed up like out of the blue messaged me and well he called me notified me that he was here it kind of bothers me that he didn't give me a heads up that he was coming because i made plans and i live like maybe like about an hour away from brianna so i think it's common courtesy to let me know that he's coming and he kind of always does this like he'll just pop up he'll pop up like whenever and i don't like that he does that i i kind of like him to let me know when he's coming so i don't you know like i let gordo know i give him heads up i get him ready for the visit but anyways he just like showed up and it's been since friday and gordo basically doesn't wanna go spend time with his dad i know him and i have had like a rocky um relationship a lot of things have happened in our relationship why we don't talk at all aside from everything that he did to me i still had a co-parent and like his dad wasn't always there he went a while without seeing him basically like a couple of years and then when i would go visit the twins up in sack um i would take him and basically what happened is that he had a girlfriend he was 15 years older than the girl whenever i would go i would go twice three times a year to visit the twins which would be like for instance thanksgiving christmas sometimes new year's if not i would go like fourth of july he would always see gordo like he was always down to see him and that's how we had it set up um he would never say he would never say no it was always he was happy to see him and as soon as he got this girlfriend he stopped picking him up and you guys i don't care that he has a girlfriend or anything because i i don't love him anymore so i don't care uh the problem that i had is my problem was that he stopped picking up Gordo because, okay, I'm like, for instance, this is what happened. Like, oh, I'm going to be over there for Thanksgiving. So when Thanksgiving would come, he, was, he would always pick him up. He would take him for the day and bring him back to me at night since we eat late. He never picked him up. He never picked him up. Gordo stayed crying, whatever. Christmas Eve, he did the same thing to me. So Gordo kind of got that a bit of coraje, you know, like... I don't know maybe like a little grudge over it i don't know sometimes i can't stand him like i like deep down inside i'm still like you were an ass you were you were a jerk to me you were this and that but i try to forgive but i don't always forget but i don't want my kids being that way i mean it is what it is that's all i gotta say but i don't keep my kids away from their father but so right now gordo's just like not wanting to see his dad he did not want to go so I, I let I let his dad come over at least to see him because I do feel bad for him. It's Father's Day, you know. And even though, like, sometimes they don't deserve it because you can't just pop in once a year. But whatever. I just don't want to have that on my conscience. I have to do what's right. Gordo's kind of already mad at me because he doesn't want to go. So I don't know if I'm doing good or bad. I'm not going to force him to go with his dad. But if his dad wants to see him, I'm at least giving him that opportunity. And maybe they can talk and see what goes from there. So so then that's all the drama, you guys. Oh, my God. That's all my drama this morning. I'm going to start getting ready and see how it goes. Guys, now out of this whole uh, thing with my baby dad coming to see Gordo, my parents are fighting now. I need to go get the camera. <laughs> no, stop. Stop. I'm only gonna show you guys a little sneak peek because I don't want to show them because they're gonna know. This all happened because of my baby's dad. I can't believe it. Yeah. <laughs> huh, I knew it. That's the bien naranjado pasta. Mama, tiene que ponerse eso primero y luego el paniche. Oh, 
right? Okay, you listen to me. Feel the way you feel. You know? To not go with his dad, right, Dad? Because I didn't make him go. I'm not going to force him. Uh, you know, he's holding up to you. Know <clears throat> you know what he wants. He's hurt. He's hurt, okay? The other, I was telling her, you know what? Does she pay child support to Maria? Grandma says, no. But he does give Gordo money every once in a while. You know what? I was paying child support and I was uh, clothing uh, uh, Monique and she used to spend most of the time with me and she said, well yeah, you cheated me on the, on the child support. <laughs> Okay. Yo te voy a decir la verdad porque él. Oh my God. Oh my God. Tiene muchos huevos para decirte la verdad. Yo soy vieja y tengo más pinches huevos. Mom. La que te va a decir la verdad soy yo. Okay. Hay que no decir malas palabras. Okay. Espérate pues. Fuimos a corte, ¿ok? Okay. Me di. Él llevaba abogado. Yo sin saber hablar inglés no llevaba abogado. Me dijo, fue entró primero él con la trabajadora social uh -huh. y mira lo que me dijo. ¿Qué? Pero la culpa la tuve yo por estúpida y babosa y no me y ya me dijo el psicólogo que mientras yo no me el perdone psicólogo. haber sido tan estúpida nunca me voy a aliviar de la depresión y por eso no me puedo aliviar porque Ay. no me perdono. Life on that. Mira. Do not even me that. Look, me I'm over here trying to make Gordo see his dad after everything they did to me. Dile al trabajador social, porque nos van a llamar por separado. ¿Qué? Yo me llevo todos los fines de semana, Moni, y a veces entre semana voy por ella a la escuela, que al cabo tú y yo vamos a volver. Yo la estúpida pensé con el puto corazón o con la puta cabeza. Te iban a regresar. Es, no, ah, exactamente. Cuando a mí me toca hablar con la trabajadora social, me dijo, ah, es cierto que Rafael Villa se lleva a Monique fines de semana y a veces la recoge en la escuela. Eh, pues ya tenía el maestro que me había dicho. Ya tenía yo el maestro. Le dije que me iban a dar como que... ¿Qué piensas de este amigo? Pero con lo que él dijo y me hizo que yo dijera, ay güey, me hizo que yo dijera, quedó, listen, 83, fíjate de 500 dólares. Your brother did not go. It was a fail. Pero quién no va a ir. Porque él dijo que él no quería ir. No quiero que él vaya. 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 Mamá's crazy. No, yo no tengo. Yo tengo lo que a mí me hizo. Pero la culpa la tuve yo por estúpida, por andarme creyendo de él. Hay veces que Monín no quería ir, fíjate, no quería ir. Así es, mejor cállate el puto cinco, Rafael. Me vas a hacer morir un poco. Papá, please, just swallow it. Vas a hacer que yo, mira Rafael, estoy tan emputada que soy capaz de agarrar. Nomás por puto y mentiroso. Grábalo. Se la pueden llevar a la casa. Porque no tiene huevos. Ya no voy a escuchar más. Porque no tiene pinches huevos. Que se porte el viejo. What do you think about all this? My baby's dad caused all this problem. Give Papa one of these. It's a dog treat. Brianna, I'm going to scratch just one. Just one. It's a dog treat. Hey, you scratched like three of them. You think you're done with your? Just one. Just one. No. Yes. I'll give it to you. I'll give it to you. No. Yes. I know this is going to win. It's nice organ to shine with all this. It's like... We're surprising my dad with money, so we're basically going to make him a bouquet, uh -huh. and we're going to tape a hundred dollars on each uh -huh. one, uh -huh. and it's going to have skewer sticks. It's going to be like a bouquet of scratchers and money. Yeah, that's cute. That's a good idea. Yeah. Great idea. What? So this one? No. Let me see.
sometimes pick her up and take her to school. I used to. Defend yourself, Dad. Clothes uh -huh. for her. Take her with me on the weekend. There was hardly any weekend that my, that my didn't want to go with me. Ginger and I bought clothes for her all the time. And I used to take the, your kids too with yeah, me. Yeah, I know, okay? I remember. And who used to take her to the doctor and everything? I did. And she wanted to mess me up with over $500 a month. What about me? I don't get child support. <laughs> That's what, that's what the whole thing started. I knew it was because of that. Because of him. How much is she providing Maria for child support? The one goes, no, not, not that I know. I go, but he does give uh, Gordo money every once in a while. Yeah, he'll send him and some Gordo things. Gordo does, dice, no, 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 Gordo no, dice, no, digo, porque tiene, es su obligación de, de, de como padre, darle dinero a, a, a su hijo. Yeah. Y aparte de eso, El niño tiene sus necesidades y come a lo cabrón. Ya, yeah, está. You know, todo eso sale de, de la bolsa de, de Marbella, de quién más. Ya. Yeah. Okay, and that's when she started. That I, I already knew that that was going to cause a fight. Was getting, uh, 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 the money and all that stuff. No, she wanted to get me, but I, that's when I got the, the, your, your friend's uh, uh, husband, the attorney. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Through. A, a, through another attorney that him and I were good friends, she says, don't worry, you're in the best hands. She's not going to mess you for, for what she wants. Because I told him that I was picking her up and doing, you know, everything that... Yeah, who in the heavens was paying for, for uh, a cell phone when Monique was, what, like 13 or 14 years old or something like that, right? Yeah. At that time, it was a luxury. Yeah. You know, but she, she, she's out of it. Well, you were paying child support, but she's what, trying to say that you were cheating out of her, right? That's what she's trying to that say. I was cheating uh, financially. I was cheating her financially. Oh my God, Dad. Dude, that's not going up. This is so bad. This is so bad. This is so, this is a horrible Father's Day for everybody. Do you see all these problems, Fernando? So that you don't leave. Yep, that's what I'm doing to this. What is that? So I can relax. <laughs> oh, is that alcohol? Damn, that has 6.5. Yeah, it's man beer, huh, baby? You're drinking one too? Mm-hmm. Hey, you guys, I am back and I just did a quick transformation. I'm ready for my Father's Day dinner. So, my mom was supposed to go out to eat with us, but that went to shit after their little fight that's why it's not good talking about the past you guys and i get we all have hurt like i have a lot of hurt with my baby dad like i there's so much i regret and sometimes when i sit there and i think about the stuff that they did to me and that i allowed them to do that i get mad at myself because you have to love yourself first and that's the reason why i'm like i just love being single I got used to being single. I love being single because I don't have to deal with nobody's drama, nobody. There's a difference between dating and being in a serious relationship. And I think that I will one day, hopefully I find the right man to settle down with and maybe I just won't. But today I felt, I don't know if what I did was wrong or right. My heart tells me it was right. My heart tells me Gordo's dad came to visit him. I encouraged Gordo to forgive his dad and to see his dad. But I felt that maybe Gordo's just not ready. And I also seen Gordo's dad's pain and hurt. I feel like, I feel that his mistakes had consequences. And hopefully he doesn't give up and he works on that. But 
there's a lot to this story but basically like i said earlier uh when we would go down to sacramento gordo it was a routine for us ever since i moved from sacramento back uh, for the most part because I think it was like the first two years he didn't see him But when I would go down there, it was a routine every holiday He'd know that I would go down and he would take our son I would let him like what for how whatever days we were there for he would take his son If it was two days if it was three days, he would spend time with him. I don't care. That's his dad so as soon as he got this girl that he was with I don't want to I don't want to like be an instigator and say had that this had something to do with it but she was 15 years younger than him so i felt like my baby's dad was like in a wow land like oh wow memorized you know being with the younger girl basically gordo's dad knew i was going let's say this weekend and he didn't he i would get gordo ready to go with his dad and he just wouldn't show up for him he did it for he did it for thanksgiving he did it for christmas and he did it for New Year's and I believe for 4th of July. So it was an ongoing thing until Gordo was like, I don't want to go with him no more. I don't want to. And um, uh, He's gone. He has gone with him. But because I've made him go, like, you need to go spend time with your dad. I just don't want them throwing it in my face that I didn't try or that I would keep him from their dads or anything. I don't want that. But... Gordo, it was really sad because Gordo's dad got off, he tried, he wanted to take him out to eat, he wanted to spend time with him, and Gordo just was like, I don't want to, you can't force me, mom, please don't force me, so I didn't want to force him, maybe when he's ready, when he gets older, you know, I'll keep talking to him, and I always encourage my kids to forgive, you know, when people do you dirty and, and people are mean or they do something really bad to you you can forgive them but that doesn't mean that you have to be around them in this case it's hard with gordo's dad because that's his dad so he, he does have to be around him sometimes so it makes it difficult for me enough of that it was really sad earlier then my parents got into a fight so it was just crazy for me but i have my dad's gift ready um i just gifted him something small i gave him a lot of clothes so right now, I'm just waiting for my sister to get here. It's going to be Gordo, myself, my sister Mo, and my dad. So I'll take you guys along. You guys, and this is my dress that I got for Father's Day. See, I got it from Extra Avenue. Let me show you guys. They have the cutest clothes on Father's Day outfit. Let's go check up on Mama. She's asleep. I was gonna ask if she, if she wanted to go, but she's asleep. I don't know. I don't want to wake her up. I can't believe I got ready on time and I'm the one that's waiting for Mo. Everybody's always waiting for me, but but yeah, I'm waiting patiently. What? Oh, you missed it. You should have been here. I know. I have my, my dad gone. Well, my mom gonna call my dad. You guys, Mo just got here, so let me update her on what. Guys, we're finally leaving. We're gonna go pick up my dad. So you don't have the patio on you, huh, Dad? Finally, my dad shows up to his Father's Day dinner. No tapatio? You talking about tapatio? Yeah. You know what? I forgot my little bottle. Oh, Do you want to go in and get it? Do you want me to get it? If you're going to go in and out, yeah. Huh? If, if you're going to go in and out, yes. Yeah. Run, Dad, run. <laughs> I did a good job by not letting Gordo go. I mean, I let him go, but you think I? it was good that I didn't push Gordo to go with his dad? Of course. He's got the right to it too. Why are you sad, and, Dad? Uh, uh, we have to respect his, his feelings and the way he feels. Why are you sad? I'm just thinking that 
shouldn't be happening. It's okay, Pops. Don't worry. Aww. Things are gonna get better, okay? Dad, just don't, like, try not to pay so much attention to my mom because you already know the way she is when she gets mad. Like, don't listen to her. She is very rencorosa. She doesn't forgive, you know? So, shoot, she didn't forgive me for, like, two years for getting pregnant. It's okay, What Pops. makes you think that? Don't worry. She's just... Today is Father's Day. We're yeah, gonna have we're gonna a beer right now. And, ooh. She'll get don't, over. Let's not even talk about my mom. We're gonna invoke, she'll get over, what about? Gonna invoke yeah, her she'll angry get over. spirit right now. So. What about you? Are you gonna get over the whole thing with your dad? We're gonna make it a good day, Probably okay, Pops? <laughs> we're gonna make it a good I'm day. I'm gonna pray that you guys do. Okay, you guys. So, so we are here. Um, Papa, what's going on here? Well, you said you were gonna do it. <laughs> Papa's trying to park Vicky's car. Anyway, Papa wanted to come meet at Outback, so Outback it is. We'll see how long the wait is. You guys, thank you so much. You guys, I, I can't believe that I even forget. You guys, I can't believe Thank you. you. Guys, I can't believe that we just got here and we didn't have to wait. I'm already sitting down and everything. This is just great. Guys, look, I told Gordo to get the gift. Ya lo trajo todo apachurrado. Look what I brought you guys. I brought you some lollipops. Lollipops. Dad, this is your gift. Oh, thank you. Do you want to open it later or now? Later. Okay, later it is. So, how do you guys feel about walking in and getting a... Uh... Get out of the way. No, they just sat me down. I was like, I damn. I thought to the bathroom. Nope. Ooh. Can you scoot over a little bit? Hey, you know what? I got a bar. 25 bottles of these are 20, and I don't know where I left them. And you probably I gave them lost, away to everybody. I lost the, the, the bus key. Oh, you did? Yeah. Oh my god, that's not good. No. Bad news. Okay, you guys, so of course I ordered a beer because I'm a beer person. My sister doesn't want to drink. Gordo got a pink lemonade, and Papa got red wine. He's trying to be fancy. You guys, we got an appetizer. Is, is this like onion rings? <laughs> there you go. Usually people forget the, the dressing. Oh yeah, no. You guys, our Sometimes food has arrived. I'm so excited. So Actually, I'm full. Uh, we have uh, Tabasco, we have a sriracha, and we also have a French bread. Oh, well, we got a whole. Dad, you're so rude, I swear. Thank God we brought her home. <laughs> Tapatio needs to sponsor us. I know. But, right, guys, excuse me. My, oh my God. This is so our food. I got pasta. Gordo. Gordo Fuji. My dad with his big old steak. Look, this is Papa. And this is Junior. <laughs> <laughs> What kind of chiles are those? The arbol. Y el otro serrano? Serrano. Everybody got steak, guys, except for me. I don't, I don't, I'm not really much of a steak person. I'm steak. actually a cheap date. Hey, so my steak. Eating it. Pasta. Guys, I ended up um, trading in my food for a steak. I know I'm not a steak person, but I don't recommend the fettuccine Alfredo uh, Outback. I was expecting it to taste like my sister's. Oh shit. Okay. Yeah. La mo. My it went through the wrong pipe. Yeah, um I was expecting my food, my fettuccine alfredo to taste like my sister. open up your present. Vicky uh, by the way guys, um my sister's taking my dad out shopping. Yeah, guys. So I didn't bring my present in person dad, but we're gonna go buy it together. Oh. Actually, my mom helped me pick that one out. Actually, I picked that one out, Dad. I love that. With the, with the pockets. I got, I got you those because I know you like pockets. My dad likes pockets, so I made sure to get him. So I can carry you my... Pockets. Shorts? Shorts, because I know you love being in shorts. Nice. If you don't like them or whatever, I have the receipts no, so you can no, take no, them back. Nice. Beautiful. I like them. Because I know you like being in shorts. Okay, so my oh, dad was me. Yeah, so, guys, guess who picked out that shirt for him? My mom. Oh, baby, mama picked out the clothes. Dad, my, my mom wanted that shirt for you. Show oh, it mama, show it to us. I have to give that clothes a limpia. My mom picked it out. Show it, show it to us, Dad. Pontela. No, no, no. 
I see. It was what? Well, we're halfway into nice. opening up. It's the nice. You like it? Yes. Uh, so she got him a piece. Just whatever you tip. Nice. Cute. You know what? I bought one in Mexico. I got my pops a present. Um, his present is we're going to take him out shopping. Dad, look. Oh, this one it's has, I made here. sure it had a pocket in the front. Does it? Yeah. Nice. My dad likes um, shirts with a pocket in the front so he could put his pins in there, guys. Yeah, my glasses. Yeah. No. Now that I have to wear glasses for shorts, I can even see the, the menu. Is really good. I forgot my. Oh, man, I love you. I, I, like I know you love khaki, so... I like this color. Nice, uh. Yeah, you can wear it with whatever. Let me try to get that one with the pocket too, Dad. Yeah, we all have pockets. You got, you got... You too, thank you. Thank, thank you. Thank you. Thank I don't know why I said things. I'm not a dad. You're not a dad. You better not be a dad. <laughs> oh, yeah. Does that have a pocket too? I made sure yeah. to get you all of them with the pocket, them. dad. Beautiful. I love this one. Color. You guys look at how handsome my gordito is. Oh, yeah. Look at how handsome he is. Look at how handsome my gordito is. So handsome. Yeah. Yeah? That's it. That's it, dad. You want it more? <laughs> hey. Me los, me los acomodas? Yeah. You took it like a man has that when mama was pretty. You guys, honestly, I think that there's nothing that can hurt none of our feelings. Not my sisters, not gordos, especially not papa. Because mama is like our biggest critic. Yeah, she huh. be roasting the fuck out of everyone. She goes in on us. She didn't even roast, she insults you. Yeah. She puts us down. She's like the worst. So it's like, no, I don't care what anybody tells me. I've already been there, done that. The worst of the worst has been said. What, what do they say? There's nothing like a woman's sport? You know, you don't have to tell me that. Or people wonder why I started drinking and became an alcoholic. Me to too, Dad. Me too. We gotta put up with mama. Every day. I don't usually cry. Is that why you left for the milk and you never came back? No, he's no. kidding, guys. He's not really crying. She blamed some me that I was chasing other woman well. There was nothing else to chase on the house, so I have to go out and chase somebody outside. Okay, you guys, we are done eating. Come on. Hey. Alright guys, so that was our dinner. Did you like um dinner, Dad? How was your father's day today? Besides oh, the it was, it was great. Before besides Thank the you. baby mama drama earlier. Huh? Besides the mama the baby mama drama oh, earlier. I had the beautiful day. Father's Day today with you guys. Thank you. You had a good time, Pops? Great time. Thank okay, you. I'm you glad great. you had a good time. Huh? See you. See you, alright? Good night. If you want to drop by, just a little bit, whatever. Bye, Pop. Yeah. I'm not going to sleep right away. If you want some pie, come on over. Gotcha.